Right, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a bit different. We've got this BMW 3 Series in for a disaster detail and we're also doing a collab with someone else, someone local, Tom's Detailing. So Tom, if you'd like to come and say hello. So Tom, just a brief introduction of who you are, where you've come from and what your plans are for today. Hi, I'm Tom's Detailing Southwest and just come here today for a little collab with Talisys to try and tackle this 3 Series. So what we're doing today, I said before I'd done a disaster detail at the beginning of the year on a Seat Ibiza and I did say in that video that we'd want to do more collaborations with other detailers to try and get them to come down and help out on some of these, de on some of these disaster details. What we've got today, BMW 3 Series for someone local is absolutely hanging and I thought this is a car that would benefit from having someone else in. So we've got Tom down from Tom's Detailing to come and lend a hand. So what we'll do, we'll show you around the car, show you all the befores, and then we'll crack on with everything that we're going to do today. We're going to be doing the interior, exterior, engine bay, and potentially wheels off detail. Get it all polished, get it all waxed, and then just see how far we get on. We're going to be using everything from the shop, so we'll show you what we're using, and then we'll go from there. So what we'll do now, show you around the befores, and then we'll crack on with the clean. Right, so we've already gone around the wheels, pre-wash and the snow foam. We're just going around all the badges and the rubbers now, just getting any dirt that we can't get out with a wash mitt. So what myself and Tom doing, just spraying all the areas with a bit of pre-wash, going around it with the soft brushes and then just agitating all the dirt in these areas like so. Um, and like I say, that'll just help get all the dirt out um, because sometimes with a wash mitt you can't get into these areas. So we're doing fuel cap, rubbers, badges, anything like that. Any um, bits of dirt around the plates because you can't get the um, wash mitt in behind. So. Myself and Tom are going to crack on with doing that, then we'll give it a pressure wash and then we'll go around it with the two bucket method. Right, we've gone around all the badges and the rubbers with the detailing brushes, we've got rid of all the dirt, we gave it a pressure wash and Tom's now on the two bucket method. So for those that don't know what the two bucket method is, you've got the rinse and you've got the wash, two separate buckets. As you can see now, 
Tom's just taken off that wash mitt off the panel of the car. He's dipping it into the rinse to release all the grit because there's grit guards down at the bottom. And then he's putting it back into the wash. So you've always put in fresh water back onto the car and you're never putting contaminated water back onto the car. So Tom's going to start from the top. He's working himself down to the bottom now. And then that'll be all the car fully cleaned off. And then we're ready for the decon stages. And then we're going to finish off the wheels um, and the engine bay. So Tom's going to crack on with that. And then we'll see how far we get on now. Right, so we're on to the engine bay part of it now. We're doing a full detail on that. Um, we've let it to agitate in citrus and snow foam as well, and Tom's agitating it with a few brushes. As you can see there, we've got a couple of cloths inside, just protect battery, um, any exposed electrics or anything like that, um, because you don't want to get any of them absolutely soaked. But we have had the engine running for a little bit, just so it warms up the engine um, and just sort of prevents you from causing any damage to the engine. So you have got to be um, a little bit careful to that extent, but we're doing as best as we can to be as safe as we can. Tom's agitating the top with all the brushes. We've taken off the carpet mat there because we didn't want that to get soaked because that will hold a lot of water. But we're going to clean it all down, get it dressed up, and then it'll be back looking like new. So we're going to crack on with this and then we'll be finishing off the rest of the exterior bits. Right, we're just on the last stages of the cleaning of this BMW 3 Series. Myself and Tom have been um, just finishing off the wheels and the arches now. So what we've been doing, we've jacked up the car there just to help um, give it a little bit more gap to get all the brushes in and the pressure washer in um, because these cars are quite naturally low. Um, so it's nice to have a bit more room to be able to get all the brushes and get the pressure washer in and get a really nice job inside. Although for this, you probably won't be able to see it. It's just nice that it's done. Um, and it gives us a bit of peace of mind that it's all looking, all looking mint. What we've been using on the wheels and the, or the arches, shall I say, mainly the carpet ones, is this little attachment from Detail Joe. Um, I have no idea what it's called, but it's a really good attachment to blast out all the dirt from the arches and there's no scrubbing or anything like that involved. These front ones have got um, plastic arches on the front as well, so we've been scrubbing them with the Vicam brushes. Um, and as you can see here, the wheels are now done but we've got all this corrosion inside and we were going to take the wheels off, but because of the state of the wheels and the condition that they're in, we feel that's no point doing so, but we're just going to get them as clean as best as we possibly can um, because other than that, they do need a refurb. So we're going to lower this car now. We're going to do the last stage of the pressure wash, just make sure everything's done. Um, we've got to finish off drying it, do the door shuts, do the engine bay, and um, then we're going to tackle the interior. And then what we're going to do, we do all the polishing, the waxing, last thing of the day, see how far we get on today, and then we'll go from there. So let's get this one finished, bring it inside, and we'll see what it's like inside. <music> So as you can see, we pulled the BMW inside, Tom's just drying it now, um, and then we're going to get the door shuts done, get the engine bay, and then tackle the interior, um, because that's probably the worst part. And then, like I said earlier, we're going to do the polishing and that last, see how we get on, see how long it takes to do the interior, and then we'll go from there. So let's get this dried off, let's get the door shuts done, and then we'll tackle the engine bay and interior. <laughs>
right, so myself and Tom are just smashing our way through the interior now. As you can see here, we've got the rear seat bench out just to get all underneath. So you probably would have seen some little bits of footage of that. There was some little bits of mould, um, some Mackies and all sorts of stuff in behind the seats. Found a couple of pence worth as well. So we've got the seat out. We're going to be um, wet back in that outside um, and it make it a little bit easier to get around all the back and then just clean it all up really well. Tom's also showed us his little box of tricks from Detail Joe which I've seen all over Instagram, um, but I haven't actually purchased one myself yet. But after seeing this, Tom's been using them on this interior in this car. And um, yeah, it's a great bit of kit. Basically, it's got loads of bits and bobs in there. It's got number plates, screws, the covers, uh, little toothpicks, some foam pads as well for the vents, some dust caps and all sorts of bits and bobs. So Tom's been showing us, um, showing us them in the inside of this car, which has been interesting. Um, but that's a great box of tricks. I'll probably end up purchasing um, one of them myself. But what myself and Tom are going to do, finish on the interior. I'm on the seats, he's on the plastics and on the seat runners. He's going to clean them all up and I'm going to focus on the seats, getting all the stains out. So we'll see how far we get on, probably about another hour or so on the interior, and then it'll be ready to tackle the rest of it. Right, whilst we've got Tom down for the detailing club on this BMW 3 Series, I thought I'd just speak to him a little bit about how he got into it and hopefully motivate some new people getting into the detail industry um, seeing how someone else who's new into it is getting into it, what their favourite things are about detailing and going from there. So, Tom, you've been doing detailing for how long now? For about a year it must be the detailing side and about two years of valeting. Because you've been working, doing the valeting stuff yeah, for the dealership, is not it? dealership-wise it's obviously not the right way of doing it and I want to get into doing the detailing side the proper way of doing it. Yeah. So that's yeah. what's made you get into the detail, I suppose, yeah. hasn't it? Been yeah. To... Witnessing the way dealerships scam and do this wrong and do that, the quick ways of doing things. Because you're still part time at the minute, that's right. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. full time, but you're doing it on, yeah. on the weekends so, and stuff. At the moment, I do the detail inside on my weekends and then still have my valet dealership day job. Yeah, because that's how a few people are, are doing it. And I know there's a lot of people who are watching the videos and stuff. Who, back when I started as well, I was doing the yeah. same as you, obviously doing a full-time job and then doing a the detail on the weekend. And that's, yeah, that's the perfect yeah. way to get into it. Yeah. And just about building up that, yeah, that experience portfolio and, and, yeah. and, and experience in, in getting into doing it. How have you found the um, detail so far on the BMW 3 Series? It, it's, been, it's been a good challenge, to be honest. It's been nice being able to do some better upholstery cleaning and whatnot. Nice to do something a bit different yeah. and a few things along the way. Yeah, exactly. Always happy to learn new things, so... It's all about being eager. What made it? you get into it? I think more seeing, like I said, with the dealerships, it was just as a part-time job. I started it and then grew into it and liked doing it myself and whatnot. Did you start it knowing you had a passion for valet and was it just a job at it, the time? It was more just a job at the time. And then I, being that I liked cars and that anyway, I never trusted myself as a mechanic. So I went more for the valet yeah, and yeah, detail yeah. inside. And then understood the detail. It's a little bit easier more. to learn. Yeah, well, exactly. I'd rather clean a car than try and take it apart. Yeah, kind I'm of not into that either. So you end up with half a car and no yeah, steering wheel. Yeah, like exactly. I'd put it back together and the wheels would be back to front <laughs> or something like that. So yeah, that's always the way. Yeah, exactly. So what's on the topic? What's your favourite thing about um, detail industry? Is it the work? Is it the people? Me? Um, I like meeting new people and like fellow detailers like you and whatnot. Um, because a lot of people seem to be out to help each other. Yeah, 100%. And I, I like that kind of community and whatnot. Yeah. I think that is good. But and I like being able to do grotty cars and get them back to brand new again. Like Seeing the, the result. Yeah, like, like the BMW. Yeah. So Because it made a hell of a difference on, yeah, on that car yeah, too. Yeah, I was going to say it's night and day difference with that. I so. suppose the meeting the people is a big thing as well. Like you said about networking with yeah, the other details exactly. and stuff is always... Good to learn and yeah, exactly free advice, for that. I suppose. As long as you're eager, you can get out there and meet whoever and you always learn something from yeah, someone. 100%. Well, every time I come here, I learn something. Yeah, you, which is great. Yeah, hopefully from this detail, you've taken away yeah, a little bit as well. Yeah, definitely. And I've taken a little bit away from you with the detailed yeah. Joe boxes yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so 100%. That's yeah. been quite cool. Lots of What's your um, least favourite thing about the detail industry? Um, could be from anything. Oh, customers that want... Thing, well, want the most but want to pay the least. That is a big uh, thing. I, I yeah. think, personally, people that want a full, well, I don't offer machine polishing, but say someone gonna wanted a three that. stage machine polish and they wanted to pay 20 quid. Yeah, kind of I thing. think it's, it's a hard one, so, isn't it? Yeah. 
expectation versus whatnot. reality. Yeah, yeah. It's all about getting yourself out there and trying to work out prices, figure out everyone else's, and move on Going from, from there. there. Yeah. yeah, just getting building up the experience. Yeah, and yeah. 100%. It's different with customers. Different customers' expectations. Like everyone wants different results, yeah. and yeah. it's whether people are going to spend the money. Exactly. And, and it's like that, all about finding the right clients, the right customers, yeah. and building up that support. I suppose. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What's your um, go-to product? Is there a go-to product or piece of equipment that you um, wouldn't be able to live without doing the work? Or is there anything that you'd like to have that you haven't yet got? I think my favourite bit of equipment has got to be the Autoglim Polar Blaster. Yeah, you do talk about that because quite a bit. without that, I mean, I wouldn't be able to use snow foam, spray ceramic, yeah. half of that kind of thing. And I think from first using snow foam, it is... A game so is that just entirely. the snow foam lance, is it? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Just that alone, I think, has completely changed it. Going from a tiny little cartridge one beforehand, yeah. with no dilution meter, yeah, with no yeah. thickness meter and whatnot, and going to that, yeah, the price is a bit different. Get some nice photos and nice videos and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it makes it so much well. better, yeah. Right, so what's your business goals for the next 12 months? Do you have anything that you want to achieve in the next 12 months? Anything that you want to get in the next 12 My months? My next plan is to get me van all sign written up yeah, and just move forward from that really, start building up a more. tank and that in the van at the minute or no? Not at the moment, that's another thing I want to get. There's a giant list of things I need it to get up. my van out it with. It definitely yeah. adds up. But yeah, that's the thing when you start. It's the money side that's, that's the issue. I've got yeah. to try and save up a little so bit. So it's a good thing, like the weekend work that you're doing at the minute, yeah. about it, you can exactly. reinvest back it's, into yeah, business for that. Exactly. It goes I think that's how, back that's how most people van. start off, yeah. is, is doing it all that. Yeah, and then I've still got something else coming in alongside it at least. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think that's my next step. Do you want to go then go full time, depending on how much work you want to get? Yeah, yeah, 100%. We'll leave my day job as soon as I can once I feel I'm experienced enough and knowledgeable enough yeah. to be able to gain the customers and get enough work from there as well. Yeah. yeah, 100%. Yeah. I, th I think that's probably the What's one. the hardest thing that you think you found since starting up? Is there anything that you found really hard trying to get? Um, building up a, co a good custom base, yeah. I think. Weaning out the ones that want the twenty quid valets yeah. for the ones that want the hundred quid yeah, full yeah. job kind of thing, yeah. mint details. I think that's probably the hardest part. Yeah, it's, that was like me as well. It's yeah. there's two different type of customers, isn't there? And yeah, some well people don't mind spending the money and yeah, and then if you, you get the ones that want it, want everything for nothing, and the yeah. ones that. Appreciate. appreciate everything yeah. you do and throw extra at you like yeah that's, that's the, ones the ones that everyone looks I, for i think that is the difference in a way between the valet and the detail inside yeah, of it yeah definitely. is there any clubs that you'd like to do with anyone else in the future um if anyone was doing that sort of stuff i would like to catch up with nova at some point valet nova yeah yeah he's definitely probably my main one to do and is it platinum detailing yeah yeah um, local to us yeah the one up in painting, I think he's really good as well. I spoke to him quite a bit. He'd be another one I'd like yeah, to work with. worth getting around and getting different experience with different people because like we've been saying about the last two days since doing this yeah. car, everyone's got different methods of doing it, yeah, different products exactly. and stuff like that. So I think you've really got to absorb as much yeah. information as you possibly like, can. Off. Being that all I've really known so far is everything autoglim yeah. what I've used and then just coming in here and using Sam's products and Paul Has it been nice being able to use a few different bits yeah, and Yeah it's nice because then you find better alternatives, cheaper alternatives, products that work that slight little bit better than yeah. the other one. And it's nice having the right as well yeah, and seeing Yeah seeing exactly. Whereas I always stuck with the same things but one you thing I've learned the last few months alone is mix it up well yeah. and truly. Yeah. Even equipment and stuff yeah, like that as well. Yeah exactly. Always have extra yeah, is what 100%, I found. Yeah, 100%. definitely. Well, Tom, it's been good catching up. What we're going to yeah. do now, I hope you've enjoyed that little catch up and just seeing how someone new is getting into it and sort of what their goals are, how they got into it and stuff like that. But we're going to crack on with the BMW 3 Series now. Oh, 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 oh,
Right, we're just finishing up what we can today. We've made a really good start. Most of the exterior stuff's done um, and most of the interior stuff's done as well. So myself and Tom have been tackling that. We've hoovered it all, done the seats. We've had the rear bench out like you would have seen. Um, as you can see there, all the plastics are done. The seats are now shampooed. We've just got the carpets left to do and the pedals um, and some bottom plastics, which we'll be doing tomorrow. It's getting on a bit now, it's half five. So what we're gonna do, come back in tomorrow and get this finished up in the morning. Probably got another about three hours or so on this car. Got the engine bay just to buff off over, few little interior bits, and then just polish and wax the car, do the wheels and tires, do the glass, and then what we'll do, we'll pull it outside and show you that result. So what we'll do now, we'll just get finished up what we can today, pack up, and then we'll touch base with you tomorrow morning when we're back in. Right, we're on the second day of the BMW detail. We've, myself and Tom, come in a bit earlier this morning to get the interior done. Um, so that's all finished. We've gone around the boot, we've gone around all the carpets, all the seats are now fully dried out and they're all looking really nice. Um, Tom's also finished off the engine bay, so we've cleaned and dressed that. Cleaned it all up yesterday and we dressed it this morning, so that's now looking a lot better, as you can see there. Um, Tom's on the polishing side of it now, so what we're gonna do with this, um, the paintwork is quite swelled. We'll show you some before photos of the paint, just so you can see that or before shots of the paint, just so you can see that, but it's quite badly swelled and scratched, obviously from hand car washing um, and probably their own sort of incorrect wash techniques. So Tom's actually going around it with Poor Boy's Weld um, Black Hole, which is a polish that everyone talks about. Um, it's basically a filler. It's not gonna fix it permanently, but for now it will make it look a lot better. So we'll show you some clips of that in a second as well. So Tom's cracking on with the boot. So if I show you the paint condition now, just so you can see that, obviously it's quite dull, it's quite faded. There's a lot of swells, a lot of scratches. So we're just gonna try and enhance that with the poor boy's black hole, because obviously it's a darker colored car. So that should hopefully make a bit of a difference. So Tom's at the back here doing the boot. That's the polish there, poor boy's black hole. Everyone talks about it. So it's been nice to actually find and be able to get use, um, using it today. How have you been finding it, Tom? Yeah, it's coming Seems all right. It's not done any permanent, like I said, it's not done any permanent um, results because there is some deep, deep scratches some deep swell marks probably from hand car wash and stuff yeah. like that. So Tom's going to crack on, polish the rest of the car, then we're going to get it waxed with probably Sam's detail and ceramic wax. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to crack on with the glass, wheels and tyres, and we'll get this car finished up. Right, we're on to one of the last stages of the detailing process, which is the glass. I'm doing the inside first, and then we're gonna wait until everything's done on the outside, do the outside glass. But I'm using this Diana Gloss glass cleaner. And as you can see, we've got the saloon rear window, which are really awkward to get down into. You can't reach your hands down. So what I'm using, obviously we do window tinting as well. And we've got a couple of window tinting tools. And what we're gonna do is just spray the glass, wrap um, the window tinted tool around with a microfiber, and then that'll help get down right into the bottom of the glass. So then hopefully it'll all be looking mint. And obviously we've got a second cloth there. We're gonna spray onto one, use the second cloth to buff off and make sure it's smear free. So I'm gonna crack on with the glass whilst Tom's finishing on the, the outside.
Well, we're just finishing up on the last stage of the BMW detail. Tom's just finished off buffing off the wax. I'm just going over the, um, the glass. I've cleaned it all, and I thought I'd use some of the Sam's detailing glass sealant, which we also stock. Um, so I'm going to go around all the glass now, get this all sealed, so then hopefully when it rains, it will all bead up, which means that you don't have to use the wipers all the time, and it makes it a bit easier cleaning it. And in the summer, when you get bugs, they're a lot easier to get off. So I'm going to go around all the windscreen now, get all this finished and do this, uh, the sides. And then what we're going to do, we'll pull it outside and we'll see what it really looks like outside in the direct light. Right, the BMW 3 Series is now fully complete. Myself and Tom have absolutely smashed this over the last couple of days. It's looking absolutely mint. Um, there's a couple of areas that we've done what we can with, but for the state of the condition that it was in and what it is in now, it looks incredible. It looks like, it looks brand new, which is cool. All the interior is done, exterior is done. We've done polish, we've done a wax um, all by hand. We sealed the glass, we've shampooed all the seats um, and it's looking mint. There's a couple of little areas like the wheels and stuff that we can't do much with without getting them refurbed but obviously we don't have the facilities to do that here. So what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna pull it outside, show you what we've done to this, and you'll be able to see the result that we've now got. And we'll put some before and afters together just so you can see the condition before and after, um, and you can see the result that we've got. Right, so as you can see from that footage, the BMW 3 Series is now finally done. It's looking absolutely mint. All the interior has been cleaned, all the exterior has been done. It's all been polished and waxed and it's literally looking brand new. There's a couple of areas, aren't there, Tom, that probably not yeah. perfect, but yeah, considering it's... the result that, well, considering what it's like when it's dropped off, yeah. it's looking a lot better. How have you found that? How have you found it over the last couple of days? It's it's been it's been good to be honest. Yeah, it's been a good learning curve as well, using some different products, yeah. like I said beforehand. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just a lot more experience, which is good. There's a couple of things that you've done on this that you wouldn't normally do, like the upholstery yeah, cleaning, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It's or... been good learning a bit more about the upholstery side as well, especially with the condition of them seats as yeah. well. But yeah, good seeing night that, tonight. yeah, yeah, seeing that they're back to brand new again, and seeing that you can actually achieve that, I think that is something really good. No, I think it's come up really well. I think you've smashed it. You've done a really nice, yeah, nice job on it as yeah, well. I think it's been done good. Been great having you down to lend a hand on that. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. you're only local to me as well, yeah, so yeah, it's been nice to get someone local down and and help out and. Yeah, I've learned some bits of you. You've learned some bits of me. Yeah, I think well everyone's always learning. No matter, I've been in it obviously a bit longer than you, but I'm still learning. Yeah. So it's been it's yeah. been good. Obviously, you've brought a few things to the table today so, yeah. and over the last couple of days. So I think um, I think we'll be really happy with that. Yeah, I'm really happy yeah. with that. Yeah. But it's been great having you down. I really appreciate you coming down for this detailing collab. Um, I do want to do a few more of these detailing collabs. So if there's anyone um, that want wanted to do anything like this, then please obviously do do let me know. Either message us or, or comment on any of the YouTube videos. Would you recommend it? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, been able to use a few different products. All the yeah. products of the, sh of getting the shop. all the products off the shelf and getting to test a different range, I suppose. Learn, learn some new brands because yeah. I suppose there's some stuff that you wouldn't normally use and some yeah. stuff that I probably wouldn't normally use. Yeah. That that's been nice being able, yeah. able to use. Being able to test some new products and whatnot as well. Yeah, I think it's been good. No, really but it's good. been great having you down. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no thanks. Um, I'm really happy with the car, and I think the customer will be yeah, when he collects it. I think we've done a good job. So I'm going to round that off off now. I hope you've all enjoyed watching this video. It's been great having Tom down from Tom's Detailing. Please do make sure that you check him out. All his social links will be down below. So it's Tom's Detailing Southwest on Instagram. Yeah, you yeah. got a Facebook page? Uh, not yet. Not yet. In the, in the process. process. Yeah. So anything of Tom's to do with his business, I'll link down below just so you can see that. Please do make sure you check him out. Follow him, like all of his posts and just keep up to date with what he's doing. And then you'll be able to see um, what he's doing over the next 12 months. See if he's got his tank in his van, see yeah, if he's got the sign yeah. right in and just keep up to date with that. And the support for him will be much appreciated as well. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna end that video now. Please do make sure that you subscribe, share and like. Um, check out all my social media pages. And if you do wanna see more of these videos, then please do comment down below. But that's a wrap up for now. See you again on the next one.